Hello everyone. Welcome to Linux from Scratch, Episode 3. In this video, we are going to discuss about file system hierarchy standard in Linux. Before getting into the video, please subscribe my channel, and press the bell icon, so that you won't miss any future videos. Note. In this video, I am not going to cover all subdirectories, as it may confuses the beginners. If you are interested to learn, you can read it from FHS book. I have given its link in description below. Let's begin. What is File System Hierarchy Standard, or FHS in Linux? The File System Hierarchy Standard defines the directory structure, and directory contents in Linux distributions. It is maintained by the Linux Foundation. This standard enables softwares, and users to predict the location of installed files and directories. It is possible to define two independent distinctions among files, shareable versus unshareable, and variable versus static. In general, files that differ in either of these respects should be located in different directories. This makes it easy to store files with different usage characteristics on different file systems. Shareable files are those that can be stored on one host, and used on others. Unshareable files are those that are not shareable. For example, the files in user home directories are shareable, whereas device lock files are not. Static files include binaries, libraries, documentation files, and other files that do not change without system administrator intervention. Variable files are files that are not static. Shareable files can be stored on one host, and used on several others. However, not all files in the file system hierarchy are shareable, and so each system has local storage, containing at least its unshareable files. Static and variable files should be separate. Because static files, can be stored on read-only media. And it do not need to be backed up on the same schedule as variable files. Let's discuss FHS of Linux. Root directory. In Linux file system, all files and directories appear under the root directory even if they are stored on different physical or virtual devices. It is denoted by forward slash. The command cd, forward slash takes you to the root directory. Linux don't use drive letters as Windows does. They use a hierarchical file system, they have to start at somewhere else. It is called as root. Slash bin. The bin directory under root contains, essential command binaries, that may be used by both the system administrator, and by users but which are required when no other file systems are mounted. It may also contain commands which are used indirectly by scripts. There must be no sub-directories in bin. You can go to the bin directory to see the command binaries. Slash boot. This directory contains everything, required for the boot process except configuration files, not needed at boot time, and the map installer. Thus it stores data, that is used before the kernel begins executing user mode programs. The operating system kernel must be located in either root directory, or in boot. Slash dev. This directory contains all device files. You can go to slash dev directory, and see the device files. For example, here SDA0, SDA1 were partitions in my solid state drive. Slash etc. This directory contains configuration files. A configuration file, is a local file used to control the operation of a program. It must be static and cannot be an executable binary. It is recommended that files be stored in subdirectories. For example, in this subdirectory Apache 2. There is a file named apache2.conf. This is the main Apache server configuration file, and it is editable text file. Slash home. It contains non root users' home directories. User specific configuration files for applications are stored in the user's home directory, in a file that starts with the dot character. If an application needs to create more than one dot file, then they should be placed in a subdirectory, with a name starting with a dot character. In this case, the configuration files should not start with the dot character. Slash lib. This directory contains shared library images, needed to boot the system and run the commands in the root file system. That is by binaries in bin, and sbin. Slash media. This directory contains subdirectories, which are used as mount points for removable media. Here you can see that, win10 is name of my pen drive. 
It automatically gets mounted in media directory when it plugged in. Slash mount. This directory is provided, so that the system administrator may temporarily mount a file system as needed. The content of this directory is a local issue, and should not affect the manner in which any program is run. Slash opt. Opt is reserved for the installation of add-on application software packages. If you installed software like Java, you can see its packages in opt directory. Without any add-on application, it will be empty. Slash root. This is not root directory. This is just a home directory of root user. Unless you are root or a sudoer, you cannot access this directory. Slash run. This directory contains system information data, describing the system since it was booted. Files under this directory must be cleared, at the beginning of the boot process. The process identifier files, which were originally placed in slash etc., must be placed in slash run. The naming convention for PID files is, program name.pid. For example, the cron PID file is named, cron.pid. This directory should not be writable for unprivileged users. Slash s bin. This directory contains utilities used for system administration and other root-only commands. It contains binaries essential for booting, restoring, recovering, or repairing the system, in addition to the binaries in bin. There must be no subdirectories in s bin. Slash srv. It contains site-specific data, which is served by this system. Such as data and scripts for web servers, CGI scripts, data offered by FTP servers, and repositories for version control systems. Slash TMP. The TMP directory must be made available for programs that require temporary files. Slash USR. USR is the second major section of the file system. USR is shareable, read only data. That means that USR should be shareable between various FHS compliant hosts and must not be written to. Any information that is host specific or varies with time is stored elsewhere. Slash var, var contains variable data files. This includes spool directories and files, administrative and logging data, and transient and temporary files. Some portions of var are not shareable between different systems. Example. Logs in var are not shareable. I hope, you got some idea about file system hierarchy standard. If you want to learn detailed about FHS, I recommend you to read the FHS book and its link in description below. If you like this video, give your thumbs up. If you have any doubt, comment it below. Share it with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.